Removing things from Photoshop is getting easier and easier with Photoshop Beta's generative fill. But what you put back is the question. In this example, I'm going to remove the baby and put back the guy's arm and hand with a thumbs up. The customer wanted the baby removed and the guy just by himself. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll grab our object selection tool. Click on the baby. Hold your shift key down. Let's grab the hat. Now, let's see the baby's hand. Hit the Q key for the quick mask. B for your brush. Make sure your flow is 100%. Z key to zoom in. And let's grab that little part of the hand. B for brush. And just paint in what we need. Let's not forget the elbow. All right. Control zero to zoom out. Q key. Now we've got our selection. So let's go up here to expand selection. Let's expand by five pixels. Now under generative fill, type remove. Now, there we go. So we'll stick with this one that we've got right here, but the hand and the arm looks unnatural. Kind of strange there. So what we'll do now, L for the lasso tool. Now let's grab some of his shirt, the whole arm and around. Up in generative fill, let's type in thumbs up, generate. Example one isn't bad. Let's hit generate again. There we go. We've got a great selection. It put back his hair. Now we've got a good representation of thumbs up. If you wish, grab the lasso tool again, go around his shirt and around these pillows, go up to generative fill and just hit generate. And the pillows are gone. Now to finish off the picture, what I'd like to do is do a stamp visible here, grab the crop tool and we'll bring it in a bit. There we go. Now, just for cleanup, as you can see, as an extra bonus, little spots on his pants here. We'll grab a new layer, call it repairs, and we'll use the new remove tool. And we'll make sure that it says sample all layers and remove after each stroke. Z key to zoom in, J. And we'll just dab these little spots away. A little bit of a scratch. All right, and now we've accomplished what the customer wanted. Good stuff. As you can see, with the right selection and the right wording, Generative Fill can put back the parts that are missing. If this video helped you at all, give me a like and subscribe. You won't break an AL. Leave me a comment. I'm done for Photo 911.